uh, in a way it was not an easy match but in another way it was a kind of a, not a bad draw in a way because we both know each other so well so we, we know what shots I know what shot he's going to play he knows what I'm going to play so we kind of feel comfortable playing each other I think so um, yeah it probably would have been hard if I'd have had to play someone that I wouldn't have known their game as well 2,000 people in Alexandra Palace yesterday. If you ask most of them, the majority of them want to see Ronnie O'Sullivan win at this tournament. And after the match, Steve Davis sat down with Ronnie to talk about his performance, but most importantly, his return to snooker. Ronnie, the crowd were delighted to see you back. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was a great, great crowd and, you know, fantastic venue to play in, you know, especially when it's full up. So, yeah, it was... Uh, Good, good to be playing in that environment. Special buzz coming back to the Masters. You, the adrenaline must have been pumping for 2,000 people in the room. Yeah, I was really nervous, you know, because I haven't obviously played since the World, well, proper tournament since the World Championship. So to come out and play in, you know, for your first match, if you like, since the World Championships, it was a bit nerve wracking. Um, but I kind of settled down all right. And towards the end of the game, I felt quite involved a little bit, you know. Uh, your, your back's been playing you up. It's better now, but I just feel like I'm like, off balance a little bit, so trying to get the cue through on a straight line is uh, a bit difficult at the moment. Take us back to the uh, World Championship. Uh, a bit of a shock uh, losing to Stuart Bingham in the quarterfinals. How did you sort of deal with that over the summer period? Um, I don't know, really. I was just a bit disappointed in my own performance, but you know, I didn't play great in my first two matches, really, at Sheffield. And, you know, um, and then Bingham played just a fantastic uh, last session. And I had a chance to go ahead a little bit early on in the match, and then when I didn't take that, um, he kind of just—I just couldn't shake him off really. And then, like I said the last session, I, I couldn't pot a ball really. So, and but he played really well. So, and obviously went on to win it. So then, all of a sudden, the new season starts mm. up again. Mm. And of all the players in the game in the last few seasons, you've been the person that's decided more than than others to pick and choose. Mm. Um, what, what uh, was actually going through your mind at the start of the season? Did you have a game plan? Um, did, you, did you sort of do it on an ad hoc basis? You know, the entry form comes through, you go, oh, I don't fancy it. Uh, or did the back play a part? It was a little while back. Well, actually, I w the first time I probably would have played in would have been um, maybe Shanghai. But I've not always relished going to, for the far long trips. So probably would have been coming back for the one at Coventry. Champion of um, Champions. But I had done my back in just a couple of weeks before that, so I wouldn't have been able to play in that anyway. And then even for the UK, I probably wouldn't have been able to play in that one either. So actually, I haven't missed any tournaments because I would have only probably come back for Coventry. So this is actually the, the real first tournament I would have entered, been able to enter. Do you feel a bit rusty or...? I feel absolutely terrible, to be honest with <laughs> you. <laughs> you know, I've gone from, you know, playing really well and feeling sharp and then, you know, come... After I won this tournament, I won the Welsh in 2014. Since then, my form has slowly kind of got a little bit worse and worse. And you know, I've managed to nick a few results, um, but I haven't been the most convincing over the last 18 months. So, you know, um, you know, I'd have to kind of sort that out, really. Arguably, you've got your toughest opponent uh, historically. He's caused you problems. Mark Selby is a is a tenacious animal on the snooker table, mm. and perhaps not the type of player you're best suited to? He's like that with everybody though, you know, I was working on the UK Championships and I was watching all of Mark's matches and <laughs> everyone he played, he, he just killed them, you know, um, they didn't, what I noticed about Mark is that you never get a, a good opportunity amongst the balls, you have to fight your way to get a chance and he leaves you in awkward situations and, you know, you've never got a straightforward uh, opening so you know he's tough for anybody to play you know he's probably the hardest match player well he is the hardest match player on the circuit and probably the only player that doesn't have to play his best to win tournaments whereas I think everybody else including myself John Higgins Neil Robertson Judd Trump if we're on our game then we're going to win tournaments but if we're not you know we're, we're eventually we're going to run out of gas and get beat by someone that is on their game. Obviously you're one short of Stephen Hendry's record for the Masters too mm. short for the world championship. Would, would the, are the record books in your eyesight? I mean, obviously the the, the, the thousand century breaks has been mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and obviously they're nice to get to get records, you know, and uh, you know it'd be nice to to, to win it, this again. But 
Um, that's a miles. That's a long, long way off. But it's it's good to be even thinking about having the opportunity to to come close to it. Is the game plan for the rest of the season to play in, in as many tournaments as possible, or it's on an ad hoc basis? Just have to wait and see, innit? I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not trying to, but you know, if I don't feel like I can do myself justice, and I haven't done the last eighteen months, I have to be pretty honest with it. Um, you know, if I felt like I was playing okay, then you know, not getting the results, then you can you can kind of stomach that. But if you're not getting results and you're not playing well, then that's a difficult one to, to get your head around, I think. OK, so how are you going to make a thousand centuries if you're not playing anything? Um, or is that not so much of a bother? Would you like to just like it, like it as a sort of an end result? No, just like I said, you know, you just have to take it by ear. You know, I'm, uh, hopefully I can get some form back. If I get some form back, I wouldn't care if I never really won another match again, as long as you're enjoying the game and playing it and... and uh, you know, it's just something to do sometimes, isn't it? Otherwise, you get bored. What are you going to do with your time? But if you're if you're butchering balls all around the table, then you think, you know, it's, it's mentally it's tough to, to be able to deal with it. So how do you how do you make yourself enjoy it? How, you, have you obviously when you're a kid, right? Mm. Yeah, you, know, you can play forever, right? So all of a sudden, practicing is harder. Mm. Yeah, and if you don't perform to the levels that you could achieve, say like Stephen Hendry, mm. you knocked it on the head, retired. Mm. So have you got a sort of a way of trying to? have longevity in the game, how do you enjoy it? How can you try and enjoy it if it's not going well? I can only enjoy it if I'm playing all right. I mean, I'd rather play well and lose than play bad and win because I'm not I'm not a Selby who can just forget about how I'm playing and just focus on just getting a win. You know, that, that takes too much out of me. It's, if it doesn't come easy for me, and that, 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 that stands for anything in life. So, is that, is that more, would, so then would you, be, you consider putting in more practice? Less. Less, yeah. There's, so there's no quality point. rather than quantity. There's no point if you're struggling to be churning that hour after hour because that's just that's torturous for me. You know, like I said, if it comes easy to me, then I'll play for four or five hours a day comfortably because I'm enjoying it. But if you're not, then I'm 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 not one for wanting to 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 grind out stuff. You know what I mean? It's got to come easy to me. I've accepted that about myself. You know, and um, yes, yeah, uh, that's the type of player I am. I suppose. Good luck for the rest of the. Cheers. Tournament. Thank you.